Hey, we got a cool project right here. Uh, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna share with you a little bit of the process, how I do the designing, how I do the sanding on this and the masking. I'm thinking uh, one painting on the side, another painting on the side, but that's why I need to start creating some digital designs and see what comes out of this. I'm gonna break this down into a couple episodes. So make sure uh, you continue watching the episode one, two, and three. Let's get started on this thing. It's a lot of work. So I wanna make sure I get an idea how it's gonna look once it's on the head and My idea is more or less man versus versus everything, you know, man versus beast, man versus demons. Just basically an illustration of how tough life can be. So my idea, my initial idea is I want to have like some monsters coming out like this. Somehow like this. I want this to be like creatures, like some sort of mythical creatures or aggressive animals, aggressive creatures. Uh, maybe uh, I'm gonna have colors all over the place that, that fills up the rest, maybe a little texture. But then here in the back, I wanna have a demon and I wanna, I wanna have a man here. The problem is that, as you can see here, that, that angle is very steep, like that. So the man is gonna be hard to see, but probably that will make it even more symbolic. Maybe we can say that it's an uphill battle, right? Man fighting demons, fighting beasts, fighting challenges. Everything in life is so difficult. You know, this is it's it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit philosophical, let's say. This is just to give me a, a rough idea because at the end, the painting is not gonna look the same thing too. I always explain to my clients that these digital designs, a preview of what's to come, but the final artwork, it's gonna look different. Okay, so for the top, I want to put like the spiritual part, you know, there's going to be like a demon that is like the one that, you know, the, the one that wants to destroy you spiritually. So uh, I want something that is evil and it's also like mocking you, like it's making fun of you as you struggle. So on the sides right here, I have two monsters, like let's say like physical monsters, very aggressive, very uh, top killers, top predators attacking you, uh, intention to kill you. And then you also have demons mocking you and making fun of your struggles and also creating some of the, the, the challenges you're facing. And then right here on the back, it's here we're going to do our hero, this is, you know, the man that we're gonna be doing here. Where is it? I selected this guy to be our hero. So I'm gonna have a color contrast between uh, warm colors versus cool colors. So maybe something like in the yellows or oranges. So okay, I have yellow. So the opposite of yellow, we can use we can use uh, purples. And I don't want it to be too saturated. I want it to be a little more mellow, a little more subdued. So it almost looks like black and white. Maybe one side I'm gonna do like violet and on the other side I'll do blue. 
So that's as far as I'm going to go with designs. Just going to clean this up basically for reference, just, just to have a little idea. But this is as far as I'm going to go with designs. So these pictures, these monsters that I'm going to be using here, uh, they're going to be available as a stock stencil in hdstencils.com. So if you ever want to do something like what I'm doing here, you want to give it a try, you can definitely do that. So we got the top, roughly something like this. We got the sides, something roughly like this. Okay, so this time I've showed you how I've done the designs. Basically, just put some pictures over the helmet and, and arrange it in a way that makes sense. The next episode, we're gonna start preparing the helmet and probably we'll start going on with the first painting. Okay, so once I have the design, uh, one more thing I wanna show you is using one of these uh, measuring tapes as you can see it just contours perfectly with with the shape of this so this is to measure up uh, the uh, the panels basically and see how much space i have yeah probably i'm thinking a medium edge distance for both of the sides and then for the back here uh, this is gonna be this is like five inches i got like five inches to work back here I'm gonna use a small edge distance. So there is edge distances that are medium, small, and large. And for up here, for up here, I'll, I'll use another medium. So three medium stencils and one small one. It may not fit exactly as the design, but the design anyways is distorted just to give me a rough idea. Now I'm going to start preparing this so that we can start painting it. 